We are continuing with Windows 365 Masterclass. In the third episode, we are going to learn about how to create a custom image. Organizations can create their own custom golden image and upload and use that as their Windows 365 operating system. Let's go and learn how to do that. So we are going to use the Azure portal to create the custom image for your cloud PC. All the previous video and the current video will be available in the study guide within my blog. You can go inside the study blog. Um, I'm going to modify a few more things here to add a bit more details. So you can see that uh, first two episodes are already available. I will create a different section for custom image and upload the steps as well as the video in this blog. So let's go back to the portal. To create the custom image, go to the search box and type virtual machine or you can select the virtual machine from this box. So select virtual machine, click on create. Again, select Azure virtual machine. Within this, make sure you select the right subscription. I'm gonna create a new resource group. I'm gonna call it as resource group for custom image. Click OK. Give a name for your virtual machine. I'm gonna call it as cloud PC gold image. Pick a region, availability option. I'm gonna leave it as no infrastructure redundancy required. Under security type, select standard. Because the last time when I was creating the video, I selected the trusted launch virtual machine. It didn't allow me to capture it. So I have to restart it all over again. So make sure you select standard. Under images, click on select or see all images. So we're going to select a image created by Microsoft. Under the marketplace, type in cloud PC. You will be able to find the image provided by Microsoft, specifically for Windows 365. Within that, click on select option. I'm going to select Windows 11 Enterprise Cloud PC with Microsoft 365 apps installed. Uh, the version is 22H2 Gen 2. Select that. Again, when you do that, the security type uh, automatically changed to trusted launch virtual machine. So select it back to standard. Scroll down the VM architecture x64. I'm going to leave the size of the virtual machine as it is. Provide the admin username and password. This is the login details you use to connect to your virtual machine. Port, I'm going to allow the RDP port because this is a test environment. In the production environment, you will not allow the RDP port. You would either use Azure Bastion or Jump Host to connect into the machine. So I'm going to leave it as allow selected port. I confirm that I'm eligible to use this license within this tenant. So let's review it one more time. Everything looks good. Let's go to the next step. Under disk, select standard SSD. I'm going to leave this checkbox enabled. When you delete this VM, the disk will be deleted automatically. Click next, go to networking. I'm going to leave the default network created by this template. It has the VNet, subnet and an IP assigned for it. Leave the basic NIC or network security group. Again, I'm going to allow the public inbound port, which is RDP. I don't want to make any other changes here. Click on management. We are not going to make any changes under management. Click on monitoring. I'm going to disable the boot diagnostics. Rest everything is by default. Go to the review and create page. And once more, just go through the parameters what you have provided. Subscription, resource group, the name of the VM, where it is hosted, the security type, image you selected, things like that. All right. Once you are happy, click on create. This is going to go through a validation process and begin the deployment. So I'm going to pause the video and I will get back to you after this has been completed. Our deployment is completed. So let's go to resource. Click on go to resource. So next step is to connect to the virtual machine. So before connecting, I'm going to quickly configure the DNS. It's not again mandatory step. Click on networking. If you want to configure, go to your public IP address. Click on configuration and provide a DNS name. After the verification, click on save. Okay, that is saved. Let's go back to the VM you created and click on connect. We're going to connect via RDP. So let's download the RDP file. So click on download and open the file. I'm going to minimize the portal for a minute and provide the username and password. And after that, click on connect. 
click on continue this would launch your vm for the first time so i'm going to quickly expand the real estate so that we can see more things on the screen oh this is as far as i could go i'm going to disable all of this because we don't need that for the capture click on accept and continue so you are inside your optimized windows 365 image provided by microsoft now all you have to do is just go and install the custom application of your choice like imagine i'm installing apps like this so you can basically go ahead and download apps like adobe reader 7zip or notepad plus plus whatever your organization need but what i would recommend is to use the modern management so you could deploy it in post rather than keeping all uh, installed on your golden image that's very old method of doing it another thing you could do is before doing the sys prep go to uh, windows update click on windows update and check for any update and install if there is anything available so i'm going to download and install all of these available updates for this particular image i'm going to pause the video we will get back to this once that is finished all the updates are installed what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the update for a week close this in in your custom image all you're going to do right now is going to install and all the apps which you want next go to start and type in command and run as an administrator click yes let me quickly increase the font size all right so this looks good now go to the folder the folder which we are going is sysprep within this folder the command is sysprep.exe slash generalize slash shutdown slash oob so the command is sysprep.exe slash generalize slash shutdown slash oob and hit enter so this will begin the process of cleaning up first and then the sysprep process will begin i think it will hardly take about two to three minutes to complete this process i'm going to pause the video one more time and we'll get back once it is finished once the sysprep is completed the virtual machine will automatically shut down so i'm going to close this let's go back to the portal and go to the virtual machine go home under resource group we created a resource group for the custom image we can see our virtual machine here cloud pc gold image i'm going to refresh the first step what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop the virtual machine so when you stop it what's going to happen is it is going to deallocate the virtual machine so click yes to stop it this is very important this step and pay attention to the status once the status shows stopped and deallocated then you can go ahead and proceed with the capture process so i'm going to wait for this notification to complete the notification says that it successfully stopped the virtual machine now i'm going to quickly refresh and click on this capture here the subscription is default selected you can retain the existing resource group we used to create the golden image region as it is here under share image to azure compute gallery you're going to select no and select capture my managed image that's the option you have to select so let me highlight it so this is the option you have to select no capture image only a managed image um, the next what you can do is you can uh, give a name for your golden image looks like it's quite long so i'm gonna just delete it and i'm gonna provide a date so i know that when i have created it so i put june 2023 next click on tags we're not adding anything go to review and create validate the options what you have given and click on create all right so now again the capture process is happening right now I'm not quite sure how long it is going to take. I'm going to anyway pause the video. I'll tell you how much time it took. It didn't take uh, much time. Um, it hardly took like 40 seconds or something. So here you can click on go to resource to see the captured image. You can verify details like the operating system, the name given, the version of the VM generation. From here, if you want to create a VM from the capture image, so you can do that from this portal itself so now let's go and provision this custom image to your windows 365 so i'm going to go to your portal this time we are going to the intune portal you can go to intune by going into endpoint.microsoft.com within the intune portal click on devices 
under device onboarding click on cloud pc creation within that go on the top banner and click on custom images under custom images we are going to click on add so provide the provide the details i'm going to give a name for the image provide a version number select your subscription and within the subscription select the golden image what you have so this is the golden image we just captured sorry we just created and captured so select the golden image and click on add this adding process would take up to 30 minutes so right now it is uploading the custom image so i'm going to pause the video we will get back to this once this is finished okay so our custom image has been uploaded and the upload is successful you can see other details here like what's the operating system is the os supported for windows 365 things like that so when you upload your custom image if you find for whatever reason it's not supported you do, you can't use it for windows 365 now let's go and use this custom image and create a new provisioning policy and uh, use this image for our cloud pc so before i do that i'm going to first go to groups and create a new group so the objective of creating this group is i'm going to add a new user for testing the custom image so click on create a new group keep it security group i'm going to call this group as windows 365 custom image user group and retain the membership as it is and click on create now let's go to a user and pick a user and add that user to the new membership i'm on my user tab i'm gonna pick the first user so select the user let me quickly verify if i have added licenses for this particular user click on assignments so i have not added a license to this user so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select a license i'm gonna assign a 4 vcpu 16 gb ram 128 gb hard disk configuration for this user and click on save now go back to the same user under groups i'm gonna add this user to a group we created the group what we created is windows 365 custom image user group and select and add the user all right the user is been added now let's go back to devices under cloud pc creation click on provisioning policies so we are going to create a new provisioning policy this time click on create a new policy name your policy i'm going to call it as windows 365 custom image provisioning policy under the license type we're going to select enterprise we will talk about frontline on future videos under join type i'm going to use azure ad join i'm going to host it under microsoft hosted network geography select australia i mean i am selecting australia you can choose whichever it is closer to you i'm going to let it automatically pick the region for me click next under image type so this is where we have to change from the gallery image to a custom image so here you change from gallery to custom image and click on select this is the custom image we just now uploaded to microsoft intune so i'm going to select windows 11 gold image one click select and click next to the configuration i'm going to retain the same naming policy not going to add any additional service at the moment click next here we are going to add the new user group we created just now the user group is windows 365 custom image user group so click select and assign to this group next and review it and click on create so we created a new provisioning policy for this custom image so ideally what's going to happen right now if you go under overview after a couple of minutes we would start seeing a new cloud pc is been under provisioning so if i go to all cloud pcs you can see that there is the first one which is not provisioned at the moment this is going to provision for this particular user so i'm going to pause the video after the provisioning we can log in as a user and test it if the custom image is working or not our cloud pc has been provisioned for that user so you can see that it started with name cpc that username and a random number the provisioning policy is the custom image provisioning policy the image name is golden image and the pc type is 4v cpu status is provisioned now if you go under overview if i quickly refresh you would be able to see three cloud pcs provisioned 
previously we only had two so to access this cloud pc as a user for the first time all you have to do is go to another browser and go to the windows 365 portal i forgot the username so i'm gonna copy the username go back to the portal and sign in as the user and provide the password and click on sign in now this user is been logging into the windows 365 portal for the first time this is the first user experience so it is welcoming this user to use their cloud pc click next it gives you it gives the user some information about what they can do with the cloud pc and click on get started let me quickly zoom the window yep you can see that this user have only one cloud pc assigned and the image what we used is the custom image operating system windows 11 this is the configuration to use the cloud pc click on open in a browser i'm going to accept the default settings and connect as the user if it prompt for a password provide your password and click on sign in the cloud pc is getting ready for the first time usage for the user only the first time it takes like few extra seconds the next time onwards it's pretty fast like your normal pc okay so the user is logged in to the pc so this is the custom image what you created for the user if you would have installed and customized anything on this golden image you would have seen that on this image so that's how you create a custom image and upload to your microsoft intune and then leverage that image to deploy your windows 365 cloud pc i hope you find it useful i will see you on the next episode take care